Neil Bailey here for Exposure International Photography Festival 2021. And we're out on location in the heart of Shasha. I'm here today with Claire Thomas. She is a conflict photographer but with a real history of adventure. And Claire has come out with us to tell us about her exhibition. So if you would like to start with your exhibition. All right, thank you, Neil. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's my first time here in Sharjah at Exposure and it's, it's a real honor to have the chance to be here and exhibit some of my work from the Battle for Mosul in Iraq in June and July 2017. Um, and so the pictures that I have exhibited here, they are showing uh, the work of the frontline medics who uh, really work day and night um, treating casualties as they, as they fled across the front lines. Um, from ISIS-held territory, and yeah, this, I mean, some of the images are quite graphic, um, but I, I think they tell the story of the survivors as well as the the medics and the soldiers who like took enormous risks to to save lives and then stabilize patients before they were taken to the hospital for further treatment. Tell me a little bit about your experience of coming to exposure. I mean, how did you feel when you walked through the door? went into the opening ceremonies and you're walking through the work of all these world-renowned photographers. Oh yeah, I actually think it's a highlight of my career so far. I never imagined I'd have the chance to come and exhibit in a place like this. And yeah, it is, it, it's a big deal for me to, to be here and be surrounded by so many phenomenal photographers. It's quite remarkable. And I mean, the, the festival itself is extraordinary. It really blew me away when I walked through the doors the first time. And I mean, the, the size of the prints alone is quite, is quite awe-inspiring. A lot of enormous prints and the, they're just so beautifully presented. And then, of course, there was the opening ceremony, <laughs> which was, that was a, an eye-opener in itself. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. But I think you said earlier, it's interesting, we're so used to looking at an image on a phone or an iPad or even a television, but to see yes. the size of the work and the quality of the print. Yeah, yeah, I think this is something that's becoming a lot rarer, really. We're so used to seeing images on our phones, on our computers, the TV, and just seeing a physical image is something completely different. It's a much more enriching and visceral experience. Um, so it's it's a privilege to ha to be able to see all these phenomenal photographs. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, any heroes coming in that you were dying to meet? Oh gosh, yes, uh, Giles Dooley. I actually haven't had a chance to meet him yet, but I'm in awe of his work. There's so many. I mean, um, and Mohammed Mahaisen. I absolutely love his work. Paula Bronstein. Uh, yeah. I, th I think actually everybody, and it's so nice to see the diversity of, of the type of photography. It's not just photojournalism, there's so many others. I mean, I just want to take them off the walls and, you know, take them back to my apartment in New York. They're so amazing. Yeah, it's quite special. And very humbling sometimes looking at mm -hmm. people's work. Yeah, definitely. It's, it is very humbling. There's so much talent. Yeah, it's, it's remarkable. It's just so nice to, to see people coming and really appreciating photography in, in this way and, and learning from other photographers and yeah, it's, it's terrific. A very, very unique experience. Very unique, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic and mm. life has been a little strange for us all. Um, it's right. been difficult to get out and I think it's so great that we've been able to be here and the, that they've been able to put this on for us in a very safe way. Yes, absolutely. I applaud the organizers that they've managed to put together such an amazing event under the circumstances. And in a, yeah, as you said, in a very safe way. I mean, I think everybody can see that there's a lot of safety precautions being... Yeah, I mean, we've had numerous PCR tests and it's just yes. us in our oh, own gosh. group. And... Yes, yeah. I never imagined I'd have that many PCR tests in such a short period of time. Yeah. yeah. So it's very hard to say, what am I going to do next? But as you're looking through the lens here, what do you think um, is on the horizon for you? Um, well, I think in the, the months ahead, I, I have some uh, projects that I'd like to do in the US. Now that I'm based in New York, I'm sort of going back to where my passion for photography started, which is in Wyoming. Um, so I'm looking at doing some stories there and in the American West that, that sort of draws on my background with horses and looking at the overpopulation of uh, wild horses in the plains of the American West. And also just, I want to continue taking time to process some of the stories that I produced in the past and reflecting on all of that. So it's, yeah, I think I'm 
make, making good use of the downtime, but really also hoping that it's over soon. It's been a very long journey from a small town in Wales to right. sitting here at Exposure International Photography Festival. Yeah, a quite an unlikely journey, I think. <laughs> Yes, it's, it's re it, it means a lot to me to, to be here for sure. I never, when I grew up, this wasn't something I thought I could achieve, that's for sure. Mm. Um, but yeah. Well, Claire Thomas, we really thank you for coming out to the heart of Shasha and getting out on location for this and giving us a little bit of insight into your exhibition. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Neil.